Hello and welcome to this video on looping through data inside a Flask template. So here we have this page for motorcycles. We're going to loop through a list of motorcycles and output all of their data in this template. Let's take a look at the code. So here in our main app.py file, we have a route for motorcycles and this just renders the HTML template. We also have this data file here, which contains a variable called motorcycles with a list of objects. Each object has a name, an image, a price, and a URL. So the first thing we need to do is import this data in our app.py file so that we can send it to our template. So let's say from data, which is the name of this file, import motorcycles which is the name of our variable inside this file. And once we have this, we can pass it to our template just like this. So what this will do is it will pass a variable called motorcycles containing this data to our HTML file. So let's check that this worked just by outputting all of the data inside our template. And there we go, we have an array with all of these objects ready to be rendered nicely inside our template. So let's start with a for loop. So you just type for, and then you create a name for each item within the array. So we'll call it bike, in, and then the name of our array, which is motorcycles. And then we have to end the loop by typing end for, and then this is where we can render each element from that array. So I'm going to create a new div called card. And I'm just going to output one property from each object. So you do this by typing the name that you've given each object as you loop through it. So in this case, bike, and then the name of the property. And so name represents the name property of each object. Let's test this out. And there we go. We're looping through each object and outputting the name property. So now let's go through each of the other properties and render them to our template. First, I'm going to make our card a link so we can link out to the website for each of these motorcycles. And if we look at the data, we have a URL property. So let's use that inside of our href. And let's test this out. These are now links. And there they go, off to an external website. All right, now let's render the price and the image. So I'm going to put the name into a heading. And then I'm going to create a paragraph for the price. And the name of the price field, if we look at the data, is price. Let's save that and take a look. All right. Now let's add the image. So the image source, we're going to use URL4 to generate a URL for this image, and it is going to be a static URL or an image to a static asset. So we'll type static, and then we'll type file name equals. And then if we look at our data, the property is image. So we'll say bike.image. And we'll make the alt attribute the name of the bike. Let's test it out. All right, that's looking pretty nice. So we have each of these motorcycles. We have their name, their price, and their image, and then these link out to the websites for each of the motorcycles. All right, let's do one more thing here. Let's give each motorcycle a dollar sign for how expensive it is. So one dollar sign will be cheap, two dollar signs will be somewhere in the middle, and three will be expensive. 
So here, where we output the price, let's go down a few lines, and then we'll create an if statement like this. So we'll say if bike.price is less than $7,000, then we're only going to say it is $1 sign expensive. And then we can use this LF, which is an else if, and then we'll say bike.price is less than $10,000. It is a medium level of expensiveness. Otherwise, so we'll say else, if it's more than $10,000, then it is very expensive. So we'll do three of these. And then we end the if statement just by typing end if. All right, let's test this out. So this is 5,400, so it's cheap, cheap, and then this is over 7,000, so this is mid-range. And then these are all over $10,000, so they all have three dollar signs. And that is how you loop through data inside a Flask template. Thanks for watching.